My name's Daniel Meikle and I've been visually impaired for the last 15 or 16 years. Before that I was coming to the games and although I enjoyed coming with my family and then getting the whole experience of listening to the atmosphere and being part of it, uh, now having that service there is just so enhances it so much more. Docker to the edge of the box, swips in and Dodge clips into the net with his right foot and it's Hibs who take the lead in the 49th minute. So the audio description service has been op in operation now for two seasons. It's used um, currently by 12 supporters throughout the stadium and we also provide that service to away supporters should they wish to, to do so. The commentary we provide them on a match day is purely descriptive and audio for those who are blind, visual impaired and possibly for maybe people who are suffering from autism to block out the noise of the crowd. First couple of times we brought Rowan, he was kind of up and down, but ever since we managed to get the audio description device, we've basically been a game changer for him. He can now focus on the game, he follows the game really well, and even shouts um, words of encouragement towards the players now. Now having that service there is just so enhances it so much more. Hey, I'm able to share the game with my, my dad and my sister now much more and talk about it as the game's going on. Because the service is very descriptive, um, rather than even more so than what radio or TV is, it makes um, blind and partially sighted supporters a lot more in tune with what's going on in the game. Um, for people with a learning disability or autism, it really helps them better understand what's happening at the game when they find it really difficult to follow. Me and Martin Boyle just receiving some ice on his right ankle. They are very good at what they do in terms of describing the game for a visually impaired person. So again, that adds to it as well. And just the fact that it allows me to picture what's going on on the pitch at the same time as everybody else. We are as descriptive as possible, uh, using lots of adjectives to describe the game, the match colours, the crowd, uh, things are generally happening on the pitch and basically you're the eyes of the fans to give them a better match day experience. It allows Rowan to focus on the game now, um, where before he was up and down he didn't get to enjoy the match as much as he should, because before he would hold his, basically hold his ears because the noise was too much for him. Dodge on left hand side, left foot to go in, and that's a left foot clip on the bottom right hand corner from Jamie Gowan, his first goal for the club. Having fans that are blind and visually impaired and struggle to see, we are basically giving them the chance to relive the match day experience so they can come and pretty much be a fan like every other fan. If we never had the audio description, we certainly wouldn't be season ticket holders these days. Um, they say there's no way be able to cope with the noise. It's just something that that is now available for me, and if it wasn't any longer, then it, it definitely would hinder hinder me want to come along. What's it allow you to do? It, because it helps me do watch the game properly. It's always our intention to grow the service as much as we possibly can um, and we would just encourage any supporters who are interested in taking advantage of the audio description service to contact myself um, and then we can see how we can, we can be of assistance.